Nintendo has finally announced the new Splatoon 3 patch, and it isn't quite what I was hoping, but there are some fantastic fixes. So I've gone and gathered the 10 biggest changes in Splatoon 3 version 1.2.0. Nintendo claims to have fixes for lag, with an average of 3 frames of lag reduction for each interaction. But everyone's personal experience is going to be different here. I'd love to see less golden egg lag in future games, but a lot of it still depends on the connection quality of other players, as this is a peer-to-peer -peer network environment. Now Salmon Run is my favorite mode, so let's go over those changes first. Life Ring hitboxes are now bigger, making it easier to revive your teammates. Flyfish are fixed! I'm one of the few people that doesn't think Flyfish needs a nerf. Instead, I just wanted this fixed. Too many times I've thrown a bomb into a Flyfish's basket, only for it to magically pop out for zero reason. Nintendo has patched this, and hopefully added a bit of magic for bombs that have entered the bins to make fly swatting more consistent. Kohozuna will no longer use his jumping splashdown attack on players standing on top of a fish stick. I love using the fish sticks to help take down Kohozuna, yet I actually stopped using them, specifically because of how annoying it would be when Kohozuna would jump on top of the stick I was standing on. I'm glad they removed it, as this just wasn't realistic, and I think it's a super important change that makes taking down Kohozuna much easier. A second Kohozuna fix for a problem that I've experienced myself. He'll no longer kill you by pushing you into the terrain and clipping you into the abyss. So this janky death, while infrequent, was completely unfair. Here's one final salmon run fix that personally affects me, as this happened live on stream once. Nintendo has made it so that if you're standing on top of where a mudmouth spawns, you'll no longer be instantly splatted after clipping inside it. I was speechless when this happened to me and concluded it was ultimately a skill issue, as mudmouths can only spawn in specific predetermined spots, but I guess this really was a glitch after all. Leave a like and subscribe for more Splatoon, because I'll be streaming a Salmon Run 999 attempt soon, and I'd love to have some help with my team. We've got nerfs incoming, and they have one clear focus. Nintendo doesn't like spam, so they're trying to reduce it. Fizzy Bomb, on all weapons equipped with it, now takes an extra 15 frames before you can start recovering ink. That's a fourth of a second, a notable hit to the sloshing machine without affecting the main weapon. By ensuring Fizzy Bomb is in the right spot, Nintendo is positioning themselves to release more Fizzy Bomb weapon kits in the future without bad consequences, so I'd expect to see at least one new Fizzy kit this December when more content starts dropping. We've got one last round of nerfs here, as the big ones are being saved for December. In the meantime, 10 extra special points have been added to Flingzo Roller, Reflux War 50, and Sloshing Machine special charges. But look, I gotta be real with you here. I do not think this is going to make a difference at all. This is only a 5% increase to the total special charge for these weapons. You will keep seeing Tento Missile spam, and Sloshing Machine is still a fantastic weapon with a perfect kit. Ultra Stamp needed fixing. It isn't as functional as it was in Splatoon 2, because Splatoon 3 is just that kind of sequel. Less content at a lower quality over a longer period of time. This is what you paid for. Anyways, here's my summary of what they're fixing. Blocking with the stamp now works against things like bombs and fully charged charger shots. Collision detecting and painting is now more consistent for the continuous grounded attack. Collision detection for the aerial spinning attack against grounded opponents has been fixed as well. I love this attack in theory, but I just couldn't manage to land it during matches, so maybe this is why. Finally, this is more of a nerf, but fair is fair. You can't attack people through walls anymore, though I never noticed this happening to me. Now these next changes, I'm going to group into one because Nintendo's initiative is clear. Their networking team may be fine with frequent crashes and disconnects, but bug fixers will not stand for competitive jank. Out of bounds exploits, cheese strategies, inkable surface functionality, environment collision, hitting targets through walls. These are all issues that were impacting competitive matches and Nintendo prioritized fixing them. Generally, a lot more mechanics now work as intended because some things just weren't working properly before. I'm glad Nintendo decided to roll out a huge wave of bug fixes ahead of the actual content updates awaiting us at the start of next season. Platoon 3 isn't in the state that it needs to be for a sequel to something as polished and frequently updated as Splatoon 2. Not be enough, but it's a huge step in the right direction. If you like this video, leave a like, subscribe for more Splatoon videos and live streams, and leave a comment with your favorite changes this patch and what you think needs to come in the next season update. Thanks for watching.